Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley if you are new here and if not, welcome back. Today I will be talking about potty training. I will have a giveaway right at the end and I will basically be going over what you need and what I did, what method we use for potty training our daughter and how that method has completely failed on our son. So let's just get right to it. So um, we definitely um, were not looking forward to potty training and we pushed it back and by we, I mean me, I was not ready for it. Um, I wanted to do it before the baby was born, but when I was pregnant, I was so tired um, and had a lot of pain going on. So I just wasn't up to it. However, once my daughter was, I think like three months or four months, I potty trained my daughter and the method that we use was the oh crap potty training book get it read it you will love it even if you're not ready to potty training just get it because it's so so good she is so funny um and she has really great um points and advice it's really really great i was able to potty train my daughter in three days she had a couple of things that worked in her favor because she does suffer from constipation or she did suffer from constipation so she's used to holding um you know her business in which worked in her favor because it made it so that she didn't get any accidents um i'm not gonna go too much into detail because i don't want to do a disjustice to the book you should get it and read it it's just really good i did deviate some things and you know i modified them because every child is different and it's not just one size fits all and uh, we did do the naked day, but my daughter was so uncomfortable. She was not happy about being naked. She was nervous and you could see she was physically uncomfortable. I know that it does benefit because on that day, we did a half day. The rest, after her nap, we just put her t-shirt on because she wasn't happy. My daughter, um, she would cross her knees um, and you knew that she, she had to go use the potty. So that was probably something I wouldn't be able to have seen if she was fully clothed. They have small little tails and um, all that day is when you can get to see them. And that day she did um, a pee, pee in the potty once and it was late at night, like just before bedtime. Um, but after that, it kind of clicked in her head and she saw that we were so happy and proud of her. And the next day she just used the potty all day no accidents no nothing the hardest thing was to get her to be okay with going number two in the potty um, but after she did it once or twice she was fine with it um, we did not do any bribery or reward systems because um, in the book it kind of is against it so i did not do that because i was not about to have a power struggle a, a bigger power struggle over the potty you will get so tired about saying potty and pee pee and poo poo it's exhausting <laughs> um so that's what we did she was super easy it just took a lot of patience um you have to let go of your phone and focus on your kid 24 7. um it's gonna take a while some kids may do it quickly like she did or some may take forever uh, but they need your constant attention and reassurance um we did do a couple of things different because in the book um, as I said, the naked day, we did half a naked day. And uh, she says that we, you can't call your kid a baby anymore, which is a no-go for me. Um, I tried doing it, but I just can't not call her my baby. The thing that I was most worried about was nighttime potty training because I am already up a lot with my daughter, who is now seven months. I'm even up with her more now than I was back then. For some reason, she is just not sleeping well. I was really dreading it and I wasn't gonna push too hard on it. Um, she was fully potty trained all day. She would not really wet a diaper uh, during her nap time. And um, on most days, she would wake up with a dry diaper, which was a really great sign. And then all of a sudden, one night when I was gonna put a diaper on her, she said no. She wanted her little panties, like she says instead of panties. Um, and that was it. She never went back to a diaper again. And it's pretty great. I'm so impressed with her. She's really great. <laughs> um, we also did the no underwear or no pull-ups, no type of training pants. She was basically commando. Um, she would either have a dress on or she would have leggings or sweats, but no underwear. And after like four or five days, um, she finally, I finally put some underwear on her because she was uncomfortable. I could see that she was uncomfortable. That was it. She was so easy to potty train. My son, 
whole different scenario. We have been using the same method. We have done this three times already and we have given up on the second or third day because it's just, it's, it's exhausting. Um, with him, he, the first couple of times he just had no, uh, he was not embarrassed or anything. He was just let it all out and be good with himself. Um, then he started being more aware and um, getting embarrassed, but he would still like either hold it in all day and then when he finally had to go he would sit on the potty and then freak out and stand up and pee everywhere but um that just goes to show that you can use the same method and it not work like at all every child is different there are so many different techniques for potty training it's kind of overwhelming um but you'll find the one that works best for you i'm still going to use the same technique i just you know i i need to get to it and be a little bit more focused on him but it's hard when you have more kids and a baby. It's, it's been a lot. You know, it just depends on your child and how comfortable they are. You're not supposed to really be um, on them all the time. You kind of have to be like laid back about it um, because if you prompt them too much, we did not use ever questions so that they could answer no, which is one of the recommendations in the book. Um, because if you give them the option, they'll say no, and you already asked them, so you can't really push them on it. It's harder than it, it sounds because you're so, at least I am so used to asking my kids things. And if you give them the option, they will usually say no, which is, you know, you, you have to work around it. But yeah, get the book, read it, it's awesome. Now moving on to um, what you need for potty training, um, just the bare minimum, basic things you're going to need hand sanitizer lots of it <laughs> any type of disinfecting wipe because um it's you're gonna need to disinfect things a lot flushable wipes love them i highly recommend them especially when they finally are okay with going number two in the body flushable wipes paper towels because sometimes accidents happen and you would be surprised at the amount of you have to clean up <laughs> so paper towels for around the house we use the baby 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 bajoran i think it's called potty so when that the book recommends it doesn't have any bells and whistles it's just straightforward a potty um and it helps them kind of squat which helps them um go number two if they have to it's easy to clean it's small easy to move around the house definitely definitely recommend it it's like great and it's not super expensive and for when you are out of the house, this thing is awesome. This is the Oxotot potty. It's portable and it has um, a little button. You just press and fold it. Comes in a little bag and it also has kind of these pads or liners. It stands. Um, another hack that a friend of mine, um, shout out to Sam, um, posted about is if you have a nursing cover, one of those pullover covers, you can put it over your child and kind of create like a TP scenario. No one can see what they're doing, which is kind of great. <laughs> we also used at my mom's house, um, a pretty awesome potty seat. Um, it has kind of like a step and handles and it folds flat. So it's great to just pop it open and put it on the toilet. And um, it's a nice area for your child to sit down where they won't fall inside of the toilet. I've also seen um, that Amazon sells and um, Nicole from Hello Happy Mom actually posted about these it's kind of like an actual toilet seat that has a little insert for a potty seat so if you have your own home we actually have um, housing on base so i don't want to mess around with those toilets but if you have your own home that's also an option because you don't have to worry about cleaning and you know messing around with little potties it's just they're attached to the toilet and that's it Another great product to have when you are potty training is a handheld bidet. I've had mine for over a year now and it's still kicking. It's great. It was easy to install. I have a whole review on it. I will link it below. Um, it's great because if your child, uh, for example, if your child has like an upset stomach or it's really, really dirty, um, it's e so much easier. So, so much easier to use that handheld bidet to wash them down. I love mine. It's great for cloth diapering. It's great for postpartum. Um, it's great for, you know, spraying your dogs, your babies. If they have like, if you have an older baby who can walk and they have like a massive dirty diaper, you just pop them near the toilet, wash them down and 
they're good um those are awesome i highly recommend them ours is the perfect zone uh brand they actually sent me one to give away so i will be um, adding that in the giveaway and now they have these super adorable towels they are made of bamboo and they are hooded um i am also going to give this away to one lucky winner this is ours so i'm gonna open it up i got one of these for one lucky winner um we got this one as well it is so so soft i am not even kidding it is a really really nice and soft towel um it says it's ultra soft and plush and it really is um the hood is really nice because it has these cute little ears and a little face um, it's a really great size. If my daughter wakes up, I can maybe get a shot of her um, in it. How cute am I? <gasps> Look at mommy's baby. So I'm bothering my daughter just a little bit, just so you can see um, how cute she looks. <laughs> she's not happy and she's hungry. But see, the towel is a really great size. I can wrap around her and the hood keeps her nice and warm. <laughs> It is made of bamboo. It says it's unbleached bamboo. It is 40 by 28, which is really nice size. Hypoallergenic, antibacterial, and biodegradable. Um, it's odor resistant, ultra soft and plush, warm and cozy with comfortable hood, and cute stylish ears, which is true. <laughs> you can machine wash this in cold water and tumble dry, which is great. Um, it's really really an awesome product i'm not even kidding it's nice and soft really really great that's basically what we have done for potty training our daughter we are yet to potty train our son that's everything you're basically gonna need for potty training you won't need a lot if anything just get the basics and consider really really consider honestly consider a diaper sprayer or a handheld a day like the one that i am giving away because it's pretty freaking awesome to have it on hand on those really messy days um so if you want to enter this giveaway you just um must be a subscriber and leave me a comment saying that you are entering and um yeah that's basically it just comment and say that you are entering the giveaway i'll have it open for a little while the um final date will be in the description box below so i hope that you enter and good luck to you i will contact the person through the comments so make sure that you um come back after the final date and that's it i just want to give a huge 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 thank you to perfect zone for contacting me and um letting me give you give away one of their amazing little diaper sprayers as well as their great towels these are awesome they are also coming out with another product um, that i'm sure is going to be great but the towels are awesome and the sprayer i've had it for over a year so thank you so so much for um, reaching out and um, letting me do this giveaway i hope that you enjoyed this um rambling video <laughs> or found this even just a little bit useful i appreciate you being here if you enjoyed this show me with a thumbs up and i hope to see you again soon bye